That's exciting news. Let me see what else I got here. I got a pile of crap to talk about. Uh, by the way, I thought it was real funny on Friday's show. No. Yeah. What's today? Tuesday? Tuesday. Yeah, Friday's show. When, what did we find out about J.D.? He watched a gay movie called Super Twink. Super, Super Twink. Twink. I think that should be his new nickname. I called him that after the show, Super Twink. Yeah. And Twink is a guy, again, who gets smacked around like a like a wimpy gay guy who gets smacked around by... They're like little gay guys. Right. Little cute gay guys. I got an email from Super Twink who said that he's written his script for the movie. <laughs> and that, you know, now that we have a channel of our own on In Demand, yeah. which kind of gets overshadowed by the fact of our satellite deal, but we have our own channel. And that's going up pretty soon. Yeah. They gave uh, J.D. a budget to film his own movie because he goes, he wants to be a filmmaker. So we said, we want to see that movie. So J.D., wow. you know, the guy who can't get laid and watches television for us. That's basically his job. He watches television for us. Uh, J.D., is going to make his own movie, and it's going to be on in-demand. So he wrote the script. Yeah, I told, he said, what should I do with it? I said, send it to me. I want to read it. Can't wait. Yeah. Super twink. So you haven't seen it yet? No. It better be good, dude. I'll direct Super Twink, but I, I'm not... Richard is dying. He's, he's pleading for me to actually play Super Twink, yeah. which is not going to happen at all. But there's this gay movie called Super Twink, <laughs> and we found out that a twink is a really sexy, effeminate... Gay male, demure. a demure, yeah. tiny boy like you. But well, <laughs> you have to play the guy. No, I don't. <laughs> Who are you gonna cast? Well, I'll cast someone else, but it ain't gonna be me. I'll cast the actual Super Twink. What? I'll cast the act the guy who does the Super Twink porno. The best thing about you is you sound exactly like Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah. <laughs> You're perfect for radio. <laughs> Got, it's got to be him to play yeah. Super Twink. Uh, yeah. If you want to give me a million dollars, then maybe I'll even consider it. Did you write a script? Uh, I wrote a script, but not a Super Twink script. Me and Richard Chrissy sort of uh, did an outline of that yesterday. What did again? We they played Napoleon idea. Dynamite and then let him talk. Let him say the exact, <laughs> say the exact same line. There? Wait, give me a second. Let him say the exact same line. Is Pedro there? Is Pedro there? <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Dang. <laughs> you guys are retarded. You guys are retarded. <laughs> Shut up. I am not. <laughs> you really do sound like him, dude. I know. I know. I look like him. I know. You do. You are him. <laughs> no, I'm not him. He gets laid the same amount of time. <laughs> I don't wear moon boots. <laughs> are you guys having a killer time? <laughs> So, the movie you wrote, I assume, is not Super Twink. No. It's just some movie you want. What is the movie about? Uh, it's sort of just like a, a parody of, um, you know how sometimes first-time filmmakers, they'll make a movie, they'll surround it around themselves doing something, like Super Size Me, like that guy going around eating yeah. McDonald's. And then, you know, there's another one called 20 Dates, where a guy went on 20 Dates. It's sort of a parody of that. <laughs> <laughs> what That's is artsy. That? So you're parodying those movies? Yeah. Why do you have know, Super I, Twink? I read his movie that he wrote, the, the one that he's talking about now, and it's totally autobiographical. It's about a guy that doesn't get women. That goes around and he's mad because he doesn't get women. That's that's so. one part. Dude, though. That's I'm one giving part. you. You're such an ass. I'm giving you a I, budget. Dude, I, Make a movie about a guy who's like a nerd like you, who gets tons of chicks and has to, and all these chicks have to go to bed with him and cast all those interns that you're freaking <laughs> out of. Everybody wants <laughs> to be I'm in not, a movie. Dude, mm. make a good movie. I that's why I get some chicks. Look what Woody Allen is doing. You're gonna make a movie about a guy who can't get laid? No, that's dude, not. That's not. That's your life. That's Brad Pitt's movie, not your movie. <laughs> why don't you make a movie where you're like Brad Pitt? Because I'm not acting in it. Why to put yourself in it? Yeah, put yourself put in, in it and write a bunch of sex scenes. <laughs> and get some action. Do that. Yeah, that's what Woody Allen does. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Like this. Oh, I can't see you there. I'm all wet because I just got a shower. Sorry, I'm not wearing any clothes. Was that okay with you? Uh, yeah. You want me to go over to the bed? Uh, I, yeah. You're such a nasty little boy. <laughs> Oh, God. Would you mind taking off your clothes for me? Uh, no. Oh, you got excited pretty fast, didn't you? I, I, I don't know. So naughty. I bet you never had sex in the back of a department store, have you? Uh, I think 
down. Oh, 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 that's nice. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh. Uh, uh, hair. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, no. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I would ask if you were ready for round two, but I can tell that you're tired. Uh, I yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna? Is that the script? You gonna make that into a movie, <laughs> dude? What are you, a douchebag? Apparently, I am. I don't know. He could uh, probably get that chick that's in that clip to be is, in the movie. Is this your script right here? Uh, I'm sure it is. I'm sure Mr. Kaplan printed it out as soon as we started talking about it. Let's see. David has call? David has a camera set yeah, up on a no. tripod. Hello, world. My name is David Blimkin. <laughs> I'm a 29 year old resident here. It never, uh, I'm a virgin. No. Oh Jesus Christ! That's not even in the sky. <laughs> what is, is this guy? David just talks into the camera the whole time. Dude, look at this. First of all, it's way too long. This dialogue. It's Fifty pages. You ever seen a movie script? People don't talk for four hours into the camera. And those art <laughs> movies. The, that's it's a guy. You could, you could make this guy say this in one sentence. He wants to be an auteur, like an oh. artsy type guy. Yeah, he thinks he's Quentin Tarantino. All they have to do is see you, and they know you're the David that doesn't get laid. You don't have to say it. <laughs> yeah. Take one look at you. We know what, what your story is. I never said I was it's a good written writer. all over you. Damn. you got to do a thing where you're super twink. Oh, and be great. Ralph is your arch enemy. And what, what did you tell me, Jeff? <laughs> well, we, do you want to hear some of the ideas we had for the movie? Yeah. Like, Ralph is his arch enemy. And he he invents a straight ray that he's going to aim at San Francisco right. and New York and Paris to turn everybody straight. And Super Twink has to stop him. And Super Twink comes from Uranus. Ah. And, and his whole planet is gay. See, I'd watch that. That's, That's dude, funny. Dude, make one where you're a playboy. Yeah, but so in that one, those Super Twinks are gay. You're, guy. you're already yeah. assuming I want to be in these things. I don't want to be in these things. I, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm super twink. <laughs> Dude, I'm giving you a shot at making a movie. This is the with big a budget guy. and a whole crew. I know that. Don't hand me this crap. Make something so exciting. <laughs> Was that? Yeah, just your first draft. Uh, I, yeah. 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 First, uh, the first idea. What's this movie about? Uh, the guys like you, you can't get laid. No, that's that was just one part. He was. So where does it go? What there, happens? There's three parts where, at first, he tries to make a movie about him finding love, and that goes all wrong. And then the second part, he decides that he's gonna walk across walk across the United States from New York to Los Angeles, and he doesn't do that. And then he decides to uh, try and become a competitive eater. When does he become super twink? Because <laughs> that's what eater. we want to watch. A competitive eater. <laughs> well, we oh, got you laughing. <laughs> but why does he want to do all that? Because they're just stupid, I, you know? Because he wants to, you know, make a movie. Oh. <laughs> You're gay. <laughs> <laughs> See, the, the problem with Richard's idea is he's still a gay guy. Like, you got to do a movie where you, you're going to yeah, play uh, with women. Oh, no. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's finally going to have yeah, sex with well, guys. I don't know, I don't know why. Collaborate with this guy. Well, there is a scene with the Naked Scores girls that we thought of. That's uh, Super Twink's kryptonite is Naked Scores. <laughs> and they surround him. And they surround, Ralph's character hires him to surround him, so Super Twink loses his power. Hey, speaking of movies, I got a, a, somebody who previewed Artie's film. Are you showing it in previews? They they uh, they showed it out in uh, California. So I is saw it completely edited? It's partially. Yeah. I saw a preview of an early cut of Artie's film, Beer League. This could go bad or good, right? I know. Uh -oh. I don't know. That's tonight at the Culver Studios here in L.A. Is that where they showed it? I th I don't even know where the where it was shown. Are, about... are you on medication now, Artie, or is this going to tip you over the edge? <laughs> right. There were about fine. sixty to sixty five of us in attendance. There was a mixed audience in age, race, and gender. I can honestly say that it was a good film. Oh. Much better than I expected it to be, and the audience laughed at all the right spots. Oh, good. I grew up in Jersey. Oh, I oh actually, good. No, I actually heard that. I actually heard it went good. So, but I don't know. You can never know what this guy is. All the performances were strong, and Artie definitely shined. He's wow. come a long way since dirty work. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a baby gorilla. It's a good little film, and I hope it finds an audience. Artie, nice, Artie. Artie, good job on making a film that was funny but unsentimental in the typical Hollywood fashion. I'm surprised he exposed so many warts on the main character, but 
Maybe that's why I liked it. It was honest and already kept it real. There's my review. Good. And the actress who played Artie's girlfriend was cute and had a nice round ass. Oh, yeah. Another one of those movies where the fat guy has a nice looking girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. See what I'm doing, J.D.? You get it? Dude, I totally yeah. agree. Yes. Get it, J.D.? I got it. Only in the movies, pal. <laughs> no, I heard that. It, I heard the screening went good, and I was just waiting for somebody to call and bust my shot. So. Hey, Ralph. Hey, now. Hey, now. Hey, uh, let J.D. make that lame movie he's talking about, and I'll make Super Twink. Super Twink. Hey. That's going to be a great movie. Dude, I, I have no problem with, like, directing it and writing it and stuff, but there's no way... No, I'm you can't write or direct it. it. It's, it's, You're going to ruin it, obviously, from that three lines that you said from that script. Your Did inspiration you? is that horrible, oh, is it Super Size Me? A guy gorges himself with McDonald's for 30 days. Of course he's going to get fat. So stupid. <laughs> yeah, like there was a surprise ending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and not only did he, not only did he uh, gorge himself and eat McDonald's, he stopped. He he stopped. Uh, he stopped walking too. Mm -hmm. Right. I could eat McDonald's every day and lose weight. The guy just uh, was out to get McDonald's. But see, I don't see why JD doesn't want to play Super Twink. You don't have to get naked or anything. Well, right? You got to play that. Super Twink. I mean, I, I mean, Will you you direct that? why is he so uptight? Because he doesn't want to be a gay superhero. Yeah. Exactly. He, wants, Thank you. Uh, he wants to put actors in those situations. Dude, you'll have superpowers. Come on. Uh, yeah, gay yeah, I have to play his love interest. Wow. <laughs> well, do that. You're I, looking forward to that. I, I talked to Richard. I'd like the script. Somehow Richard writes in that, uh, like, him and Sal have a secret love thing going on, too. <laughs> hey, uh, up on the website are pictures of Sal and Richard sleeping together in a bed. <laughs> Wait, somebody took him there. Now, where's that from? From some comedy gig. And yeah, they were actually a sleeping we bed. We stayed at a guy's house. Uh, All right, Ralph. If I get you a budget from In Demand, you want to shoot Super Twink starring J.D.? Yes, and I've right. been and I'm, I'm talking to Vinny. We're going to document the whole thing, too, like uh, Project Greenlight. Uh, behind, uh, making up. How <laughs> oh, yeah. is it on this? Day, Ralph right? wants to make it a big budget affair. He wants to have, like, models and, and uh, make it like the, the Batman movie. All right, I'll tell you what, Ralph. Yeah. For the In Demand channel. Yeah. I'll let J.D. shoot this horrible movie he wants to make. <laughs> yeah. Which is going to be just fun to watch and goof on. Yeah, let him do that stupid thing. And you shoot Super Twink. Yeah. Where now? Let me have the plot. JD is a gay superhero. <laughs> JD's your actor. <laughs> and and and, and who is Richard? And who are you? I, I don't I don't know. I'll figure that out. All right. Well, 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 I'll yeah, you got plenty of time. All right, I'll I'm, get you a budget. I'm the Lois Lane type character, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who was the guy at the? He had a good name for the guy at the paper. Who was that? Oh, Bo Cocky. No. <laughs> what, what's your, yeah, well, that was good too. But what was your name? What was your name? Oh, Rusty, Rusty Peters. Rusty Peters. Yeah. Well, well, Ralph's name was uh, Pillow Biter. Yeah. All right. Jesus. All right, boys, get to work on that. I don't know. I, I'm, it's nice. Uh, I yeah. No, I, yeah. no. He's a very geeky guy. Yeah. Who loves one thousand homo DJs? Yeah. He's a nerd with glasses and a goofy face. Looking for love on my space. Uh, I think I have. JD is a virgin. He's a super twink. He drinks. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's some other. Right, get to work on your movie. Uh, okay. You've got the green light. You still uh, talking to that porn star? Huh? Still talking to that porn yeah. star? Yeah. What's yeah. a dating service you're on? <laughs> it's not a dating service. Like it's just a. It's my. It's called MySpace. MySpace. <laughs> and what do you go on there and you meet chicks? Not, not, not really. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. I, yeah. I read his profile. The first thing it says on there is, I'm really into 1,000 homo DJs. <laughs> <laughs> chicks love when they hear that. Dude, I'm telling you, in my movie, I made this chick make out with me. I'm not even sure the scene's going to be in the film. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> That's the move. Now you're thinking like a man. That's what you got to do, brother. <laughs> yeah, here's Jamie's profile. <laughs> General interest. Movies and girls. Not necessarily in that order. Depends on what mood I'm in at the time and how much money I have. Movies and girls. Could be girls and movies. And how much money I have. I'm gay. That there is the go. lamest friggin' statement. <laughs> but I don't even see what it means. It's it's like, depending on how much money I have? And depending on his mood. Like, he's not into girls and when he has a certain mood. Uh, I, yeah. What mood? Dude, who, want me to help you write yeah, a profile? What mood is that? His no. gay mood? Is that a mood? I should just delete that whole thing. <laughs> Why don't you write, hey... I'm into effing women. <laughs> right. And drinking. Don't leave any gray area. <laughs> then there's a music, and he's got like 20 million bands listed, like right. everything on his iPod. These are the current artists in my iPod. 
But what if, what does money have to do with women you know like what? women? Chicks really love to read what's exactly in your iPod. <laughs> what, like when you strategize this thing. There was no strategy. Do you go like, I know, I'll tell girls what's in my iPod and that'll turn them on? Yeah, sure. But seriously. I don't do I, I don't know. I do that. Like, thing. why would you tell girls what's in your iPod? Like, is, I, I know you think on some level, like, you're cool because you listen to... Oh, dude, I so don't think I'm cool. Yeah, because, like, look, every one of these bands is like a, like, sort of obscure. Like obscure. Air Frog. <laughs> Let's see. 1,000 Homo DJs. Just because you haven't heard of them doesn't a mean... Perfect Circle Air Frog. Sorry. <laughs> air Frog. <laughs> air Frog. Yeah, that was my favorite That's Air Frog. That's obscure means. We haven't heard of them. Yeah. Amen. American Head Charge. American Head Charge. What did you do? Man, I bet you there's some girl reading this going, oh, my God. <laughs> there's a guy into American Head Charge and 1,000 homo DJs. <laughs> I got to date him. She's already on to the next profile. What are you talking about? I'm going to contact J.D. He's my kind of guy. Did you do you talk to that porno girl about your music and stuff? What do you she, talk yeah, to she her She likes about? techno music like, like I do. Yeah. Wow. Is cool. Air, Frog te Air Frog's techno? Uh, I think so, yeah. So are you guys going to go to a club and go dancing when she comes here? And pro I guess, I don't know, probably. Let me see Let's you see dance. Let's see you dance. <laughs> no, I'm not new. <laughs> you dance? <laughs> no, I don't dance. Gonna take We're going to take it. I don't dance. Yeah. I'll, 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 <laughs> bitches, let me see what you've got. Just say that. Wait a <laughs> latest blog entry. Subscribe to this blog. People pay to read your blog. No, it's just like if you're a front... <laughs> No. If what? Explain that to me. Why does it say subscribe to this blog? I think if like you write something in that blog, you, if you subscribe to it, if you if you subscribe to someone's blog and that person writes in their blog, you can get an email. Do you do people subscribe to your blog? Hell, I highly doubt it. Do, wouldn't you know if someone subscribes to your blog? No, I, I don't know. I I hardly use that. You thing. keep a blog and no one reads it. Uh, yeah, I write in like you know. Let's see. Hardly. It says Jamie's latest blog entry. Fantasy football. Interns and friend requests. What does that mean? Just what the blog was about. Oh, those are your topics? Yeah. What's fantasy football? <laughs> it's like fan yeah, it's He like has a team. No wonder you're getting laid so much. <laughs> Chicks read that you're into fantasy football. <laughs> dude, I, either you're into football, don't say you're into fantasy football. Say you're a football I, player. Dude, I'm just saying, I'm in a fantasy football league where... You're in a fantasy football league? Yeah. <laughs> dude, so is Will Murray. So is, yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, don't go not blogging about but you're it. trying to attract women, dude. You know you're on you the same. I don't know. What do you want to meet, guys? I don't know. I don't know. What chick's gonna read? Oh man, this guy's happening. He's into fantasy football. <laughs> is that where you? Is that where you make believe you own a team? Yeah. Right. <laughs> fantasy football is something that uh, chicks chicks are definitely not into that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's gay. It's their enemy, actually. Right. <laughs> What is interns? What what is that topic? I think it was just about how the the new interns have left. The old interns have left, and the new interns were coming in. You wrote a blog about when the new it was interns. It's like a sentence. Oh, there you go. You know, you can oh, read, you can read well, let's blog. hear the blog. Yeah, can't wait. This week, let's see. This week, new interns started, but the legend of last semesters has not left us, or me at least. That's it. <laughs> they, yeah, how interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. That's what's, some blog. What's the legend? Dude, I, I, and by the way, I hear he latches on to a different intern every semester. Oh, really? He's already, I hear you latched on to one already. Some chick. Ronnie told me. <laughs> oh, of course, of course. <laughs> Ronnie's all over that. She's cute. She's, you know, a good... Oh, oh. What, are you taking her under your wing? <laughs> no. Yeah, I, he like he like mentors oh, one okay. of them. I don't do anything. Teaching on the ropes. Hey, Howard. Yeah. The one he latched on to is here today. Well, let me see the one. Of course she's way too cute for him. You're not going to get her, know dude. that he's so into her? What was the name of the one you latched on to last time? There was Kelly, Claudia, Deandra, who knows? Actually, she's called Plaintiff now. <laughs> <laughs> this is always so fun, every semester. Hi, right, come on in. Who is this? Very cute intern. How are you? Good, how are you? JD's in love with you. <laughs> Did you know? Did you know already? Or he read his blog. He's pretty out. Kind you kind of know. Yeah. yeah. What does he do? like? Does he always hang around you and stuff? No, like I got his number and he asked for mine and stuff. Oh, really? Ooh. Yeah. Did you know he plays fantasy happen? football? I didn't know. But how does he go about getting her number? He just asked. Smooth. Cool. Yeah. Like, why does he need an intern's number? 
why. No, I know why he needs it, but why does he say he needs it to her? No, why did he need your number? I don't know. He wanted to hang, hang out. out. Ah. So he gives him the old let's hang line. Yeah. Are you going to go out with him or what? I don't know yet. Want to be in his movie? <laughs> Probably not. No? No. no. Gee, she doesn't even want to be in your not movie. Not super it. twink. Not super twink, but would you like to be in a romantic movie? Where you, you're kinda, with him? You kind of look like um, Reese Witherspoon. I've heard that before. Yeah. Hey, I got a question for you. If you were in Super Twink's movie, right, and we paid you five hundred dollars to be in the movie, but there was a scene where you had to make out with him, would you do it? Five hundred bucks? Yeah. Sure. Huh? So, so. No, it doesn't cost too much to get to make out. So now you're gonna do a rewrite on that movie? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you're right on that. Oh, oh, oh I'm dude, gay. I, I don't want to be, dude. You, you, everyone is assuming I want to be in these movies. You want to make out with her? You want to do a love dude, scene with her? If, if you get to make out with Caroline for whatever reason. What do you care what the subject of the movie is? Really and you think give her, about it. Then you can give her that good kissing technique. And yeah. she'll realize she's in love with you. And you're right. going to look really cool. You're gonna, everyone's going to be kissing your ass because you're the star of the movie. Did he say he was a good kisser? Yeah. yeah he did. <laughs> he did. He says he's a real good kisser. A girl he kissed two years ago told him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Let me see more of this blog. <laughs> Chill MTV. MTV for years has caused me numerous times to actually yell at my television. They are the biggest offenders in causing me to actually vocalize my outrage. Well, I am so outraged right now, it's something that I doubt I can even begin to express it through type words, let alone vocalize ones. What has caused this Im unmeasurable anger? My super sweet 16 in particular. This fat black girl who is the biggest C word you'll ever find on the earth. She takes everything for granted. I saw that episode. That makes you want to kill MTV? Yeah, it was a good episode. It was a spoiled kid. It was. Uh, you, you wanted to kill the girl, though. Yeah, but that's good. That's good. Yeah, look, and you're even writing about it. You're still thinking about it. It doesn't I mean you hate you. MTV. They hooked you in. You watched the whole episode, uh, right? Whatever you say, dude. I, I it just makes me want to kill people. <laughs> Super Twink is showing his powers. <laughs> <laughs> See what else is in this blog. See what's on your mind. Fantasy football. I'm. So I'm in a fantasy football league with the dad and a couple of other guys. With the dad? Who's the dad? My dad. With your dad? Yeah. What? That's for the dad. I don't know. That's what I typed. You and your dad are in a fantasy football league? Yeah. JD's very fuzzy on what he's doing. He's not unsure of how it all works. I am not looking so hot for this week. What is that, your team's doing poorly? Yeah. <laughs> so not only are you in a fantasy football league, you're losing. <laughs> I, won, I won this week. Can't you just pick any player you want? Well, no, you're in a league. You do oh. a draft. you got to see the work that goes into yeah. being in a fantasy Howard, football league. You have man. to go to the draft. You you have to go to bed early on a Saturday night. So you get up early on Sunday to, well, to pick, to pick your team. Yeah. This is automated. I have the second favorite quarterback, Dante Culpepper. I did. And he crapped out. Thanks, Dante, you bastard. <laughs> Get out of your mind. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> did he you compress you, Caroline? Uh, yeah, no. No, chicks don't care about that, dude. Get that off your blog. Yes, chicks do care about it. It tells them to stay away. Hey, can I just say something, too, Howard? The first sentence on your, on your profile, the first sentence is, I'm into chicks in movies and not necessarily in that order. There's always an order. Chicks first. Yeah. Even Caroline was saying that. Chicks first. And he had right. things like mood and money depends on where they go. As you go to slit your wrist, you're still into chicks first. I'll leave the guy alone. I know, but he really should be into <laughs> Meanwhile, he's first. making a movie. For all this nonsense, the guy's now a director. <laughs> That's what got him his movie. All right, J.D., you go back and make me proud. Make the movie. And if you want my advice, write this hot intern into your movie. <laughs> And write a love scene. You got There are two girl parts, but I mean, they're not huge, but they're girl parts. Rewrite write them. Rewrite it and put it into your movie and make yourself the star of the movie, dude. But I don't want to be the star. I, I'm not an actor. But I don't like Obviously, all, and you need a director. Neither am I. I put myself in my movie. <laughs> <laughs> but, you're, you're, but you're a performer. I'm not. I'm not, not a performer. You have to know how to act to be a movie. <laughs> This is. I'm, I'm caught up in your blog. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm back. Been up since about 4 a.m. Had a bright and early 6 a.m. flight. Already at work, and it's 10.22 p.m. as I type. Long night ahead of me. Before I started working, I just thought I'd type about how absolutely disgusting it is outside. Oh, my God. Disgusting humidity in a mist you can hardly see through. Well, anyways, that's about all i got to say right now. 
and then and then it's a list underneath it. How many people come in and read his blog? Zero comments. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, you know what? That was, well, before, that was before uh, the... the oh. All right. Oh, See, but we're into it. I'm, I'm into the blog. Yeah. We're reading it now. I might, I might have to... What do you do that on your computer? You flag one of the websites? Yeah, I might learn how to do that. Yeah. It's, yeah. On, it's now under my favorites. Your favorite page. I make it my home page. Yeah, I almost went on this weekend. I didn't know you had blogged. I definitely would have gone on. He doesn't even read his own blog. <laughs> what do you want, Ralph? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, he sounds hot. He yells at the TV and plays fantasy football. <laughs> Where do I sign up? <laughs> what a loser. Dude, fantasy football, first of all, is like Dungeons and Dragons or something. It's so gay. Right. And like, if and I now, played it, I wouldn't broadcast it to chicks on my blog. And, and, you know and, and also, he keeps saying, like, everyone assumes I want to be in this movie. Yet he says he wants to make the kind of movie like Super Size Me and 20 Dates and Michael but Moore's movie. Ca I would cast someone Which else. Which they all starned in, Doug. That, 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 that's, that's why everybody assumes you want to be in it, because that's your inspiration. These guys were all in their movies. Don't you have to go kiss Sam Simon or something? I mean, you know, Please. Keep that, is that all you can say, dummy? Yeah. Hey, you seriously, Rob, J.D.'s not cool enough to hang out with Sam Simon, is he? No. So you're never going to get invited to yeah, that. All right, listen, i got to take a break. Everyone's yelling at me on the computer. J.D., good luck. Congratulations on <laughs> your movie. Is he insisting on shooting the movie he wrote for you? We'll see. I have. I just thought of an idea to the, today. Oh. Another idea? Yeah. All right, because you're getting to make one movie, not two. I know, but uh -huh. I'll, I'll let you I'll Maybe let you choose. your best idea. I, dude, it, I'm, I'm trying. It, it's what I can Write a movie about a chick who's in her bra and panties <laughs> and wants to touch your thingy. <laughs> yeah. My thingy. You're, call it wiener touching. <laughs> <laughs> if this movie's good, maybe you can make another one. <laughs> Here's a movie. It's about a bunch of girls who want to touch my wiener. <laughs> it's about a bunch of guys I'm having sex with. <laughs> it's about my fantasy football league. <laughs> Super choice. Here's your choice. Fantasy football league movie? Yeah. Or a movie about girls who want to touch my Twinkie? <laughs> Twinkie. Twinkie. <laughs> that is, the, you can you can cast scores, chicks. Think about it. Well, dude, that's what me and uh, Richard had for Super Twinkie. How about a genie? You find a lamp and you rub the lamp, and all of a sudden you make a wish that you got tons of chicks, and no chicks will leave you alone. Like everywhere you go, chicks are coming on to you and throwing you down and raping you. Yeah, you could be the object of desire. Yeah, and then we learn in the movie that even though you, your dreams come true, it's it's a nightmare. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you like it, see? I love it. Or a hot chick has a like she's a, a suicide bomber. She wants to blow herself up, and you have to. And you're a secret service man, and you have and you find her, and you have to chain her to a wall nude so she can't blow herself up until the authorities get there. Or a girl kidnaps you, and all she wants to do is make love to you. You're her sex slave. <laughs> a girl kidnaps you, and she works for uh, the, the Taliban, and. She wants to put a bomb where your son went right inside your. <laughs> I, I can't, because of the radio, I can't say it, but right up there. Yeah, I she you. shoves a bomb up there, and she's going to send you out. She, she wants the keys for me. Yeah, <laughs> so she keysters you. <laughs> yeah, think, think on a, <laughs> think on a broad canvas. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, right. What is this? <laughs> He's a virgin. Yeah. <laughs> he hasn't even touched a girl's thigh. Uh, uh, no. JD's a virgin. Uh, yeah. He's had the same condom in his wallet since junior high. Alright, get to work on your movie and use your head. This is a primo opportunity for you. It really is. All joking aside, I do. I, I, I know. I, this, I, all I did was rack my brain this weekend thinking of ideas. All right, here's the and idea. none of them had you getting a girl? I, you're on a, you have a fantasy football team and you're winning. You're, your fantasy football team's going to win the league. Dante Culpepper shows up. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a girl who has a fantasy football team and she wants to win badly. So she decides to get all your secrets from you. So she seduces you to learn about your fantasy football league. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like doing everything to you. Rim jobs, everything. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> she's going to make you talk. Dang. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like rated X. But I don't find out. It should be on the phone to her girlfriend. If I don't find out everything about JD's f fantasy football league, I'm just going to kill myself. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give a rim job. 
<laughs> yeah, it's NC25. 25. 25-year-olds 25 can't get into this. All right, I got to take a break. We'll be back right sure after these words. cute, guys. This is the Howard Stern Show. 